I've been in here since 2003. Uh, I've been here for three and a half, four years. Yeah. My name is Desiree Lamford. I have been a resident of Sonoma County since I was about 16, uh, mostly Guerneville. We have a much higher percentage of people who are from here or have been here for a long time, whether housed or homeless. I think our data shows that about 80% of the homeless on the lower Russian River either are from here or became homeless while they were here. Uh, my name's Tim Miller. I'm the executive director of West County Community Services. West County Community Services has been around for over 40 years. They run the Senior Center, provide help for job seekers, offer counseling, and focus on housing and homeless services. For years here on the Lower Russian River, really the only support for the homeless population was the winter shelter. But in the past year, a homeless task force set up by Supervisor Hopkins has seen a big change. For the first time, really, got major funding to ad directly address homelessness. So we've been operating a uh, rapid rehousing program. And to date, we've been able to save from homelessness or house 69 people. And that's just in uh, the last 10 or 11 months. Right down the street at West County Health Services, Dr. Jared garrison Jekyll has also seen a change in support for the services they provide. The Russian River Health Center has a disproportionate number of homeless people per our total population. And because of that, we were eligible to apply for a grant to provide targeted, specialized primary care services for people who weren't being well served by our usual primary care methods here in the community health center. For a client like Desiree, who became homeless with her five children after being in a car accident, that specialized care boils down to some very basic things. There's everything at your fingertips. I mean, everything from, wow, I need some place to go to the bathroom to, you know, some place to brush my teeth. They, they were the bridge that made me have enough courage to actually reach out to people. Because a lot of people make you feel like you're unworthy of being helped. And I, I love, I love our community clinic. I mean, we're trying to do something that's good for the whole community, right? Um, I'm still a primary care doctor here at the Russian River Health Center. The vast majority of my patients are housed, not unhoused. And the same problems affect everybody here on the river. So while the problems might be more extreme in our homeless population, issues of mental health, poor access to resources, addiction, trauma, those are not things that are confined to homelessness. Those are things that affect everybody. Hi, my name is Richard, and this is the Mill Street Thrift Store. For 15 years at Mill Street Thrift, Andrea Morgan has been quietly providing support wherever needed. Worth your time to come out and check it out. If you need something, you can have it. A lot of work trade. A lot of our guys will sweep or do the dishes or hang clothes. How about just the zucchini and the onions? Christmas Lubri, a frequent volunteer, is busy making soup. She never ever asks questions. I don't know how she actually manages this business or if it isn't even a business. It's more like a service. The community makes all the donations and makes this happen. And so our whole mission statement, doing unto others as you'd really have them do for you, right? Nobody really talks much about the people who don't beat their own drum, who just do the next right thing. And she's doing that every single day. You know, if we all just did the next right thing, this whole Russian River area, it would be completely changed instead of waiting for somebody else to do it. Okay, I'm taking these sandwiches over to the corner. Okay. Support. 